Okay, I'm gonna up the difficulty level here. You can do it, just don't give up. It's like taking those two assignments I gave you yesterday and kind of combine it into the same kind of process, only you do two kind of things in the same problem. That's why you see a one and a two. Now here's what this says, five X, it means five times X plus two equals 27. The first thing we do is forget about the 27 for a second. Let's look at the 5x plus 2. I made a box for you because outside this box you see plus 2. So you do the opposite. You minus 2, cross it out, and then I have to minus 2 on this side. Okay. Now after you do that, you want to take your equals, you want to drop it straight down. Now what do you see on this side? You see 5x. Okay. And then 27 minus 2 on this side is 25. Okay, so that's step one. That's done. So I know that 5 times x is 25. Then I like to dot the 5, so I know that that's multiplying the x, and I do the opposite. So I divide, divide by the 5, okay, because that's a number in the dot, so we cross that out. And I drop the equals, and here I just now, what do I have? I just have x, okay. And then 25 divided by 5, use your calculator if you have to, it's 5. Okay, so there's our answer. Okay, next one, 7x plus 2 equals 51. So what do we have besides the 7x? You got plus 2. So the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2 again. And then I go to the other side, minus 2 here. So the equals needs to drop straight down. And what do I have over here? I have 7x. And what do I have over here? 51 minus 2 is 49. Okay? So 7x equals 49. Okay? Now, again, the 7 is a multiplier. It means 7 times x, so I do the opposite of times. I divide. We put the dotted number. The number multiplied by the x goes under both lines. Okay? And that cancels. So I drop my equals, and I have x, and then 49 divided by 7 is 7, so x equals 7. Okay, 3x minus 3 equals 48. So besides the 3x, I have the minus 3, okay? So I do the opposite of minus 3, which is plus 3, okay? Get rid of that. Go to the other side, and plus 3. So the equals, I drop straight down. And over here I have 3x, because I there's a 3x, so I just write it down. And then 48 plus 3 is 51, okay? So now I'm at 3 times x equals 51. So I dot the x, and then I underline both sides, and it's this number here that's multiplied by the x that I divide by, okay? So the same number over the same number with a line will cancel. And I have x, and 51 divided by 3, again, use your calculator, 51 divided by 3 is 17. So there's my answer. Okay, next one, 11x minus 4 equals 48. Okay, oops, I forgot to circle the equals, okay. So... Outside the 11x box, I have minus 4, so I need to plus 4. And then I go to the other side and plus 4 there. So I drop the equal straight down. On this side, I have 11x. 11x is 11 times x. On this side, 40 plus 4 is 44. Okay, now I dot the multiplying number. And then so I know which number to divide by, the 11. Okay. 11 divided by 11 cancels. It's actually 1, but if you see the same number on top of a line with the same number beneath it, you cancel it. So I have x. And then 44 divided by 11 is 4. Okay. So I get 4 here. Okay, next up, 8x minus 5 equals 35. So I look on the side of the equation that has the x, this side here. So minus 5, I'm going to plus 5, cancel it, and then I add 5 on the other side. 
So I drop my equals straight down, okay? On this side, you have 8x. On this side, 35 plus 5 is 40, okay? So I dot the 8x, and then when I divide, it's going to be by this number here, the 8, okay? So having the 8 on top of the 8 cancels it. And now I have x, and 40 divided by 8 is 5, okay? Okay, 8x minus 4 equals 28. Okay, so I have a minus 4. So I do the opposite of minus 4, which is plus 4. So I drop the equals, and over here I have 8x. 28 plus 4 is 32. Okay, so 8x, that means 8 times x. So again, I now need to divide by the 8, okay? So, having an 8 on top of an 8 cancels, and I have x, and then I take 32 divided by 8, and that's 4, okay? Okay, 9x minus 3 equals 78, okay? So I have a minus 3, so that I need to get, so I plus 3, and I plus 3. So I drop the equal straight down. So I have 9x over here. 78 plus 3 is going to be 81. And then I want to dot the 9 to know that it's 9 times x. I do the opposite of times, which is divide. So I underline both sides. And we take the 9. 9 over itself cancels. And I have x. 81 divided by 9 is 9. Here you just divide it on your calculator. If you don't know it, it's 9. And that's your next solution. Okay. 4x plus 6 equals 26. Okay, so I have the 4x in a box, and I on this side we have a plus 6, so I need to minus 6. And then I go to the other side, minus 6. So I drop the equals down. And over here we have 4x. And over here, 26 minus 6 is 20. Okay. Now, again, I want to dot the 4, Okay. so I know which number to divide by. Because a lot of people put the wrong number under both sides. It's this number here with the dot. So 4, 4. Having a 4 on top of 4 cancels. And that's good, because what's on that side? The x letter. And then 20 divided by 4 is 5. Okay, that's it. And then if you have any questions, let me know.